Good morning guys. I'm out here in my shop. Uh, today is Saturday, August the 29th. And I'm out here I've got myself a pallet and I'm going to try to make a little something for the uh, Sterling Davis upcycle pallet challenge. And I better get going because I think it's the deadline is the 31st. So i got to get something done this weekend. So anyway, I've got my crowbar, hammer, and whatever else I can use to try to get some boards off of this thing and I'm not really sure what I'm going to make yet but I'll uh, try to think of something as I'm taking it apart so anyway let's get started Okay, so after wrestling with this pallet for, I don't know, a good 10 or 15 minutes, you can see here I got just about all the slats off of it, I guess. Uh, all the boards that look pretty decent, pretty straight. So I'll throw that back outside. And you can see, I don't know how many I've got here. I've got quite a few, but most of these, even though they're weathered, they're fairly straight. You know, not bowed and twisted a whole lot, so we'll see what I can make out of them. First thing I got to do now is uh, spend a few minutes getting these nails knocked out. Okay, I tried to. I'm trying to glue up a kind of a panel here, but I'm not running it through these through the planer or anything. I'm wanting to keep them rough looking. Uh, so you can see I've pretty much thrown every kind of clamp I got at it. And you know it's not going to be perfect but I think I can get it flat enough to uh, to do what I did or what I want to do. Uh, I've got some uh, three and a half inch wide strips of half inch plywood, some old scrap plywood that I cut that I'm trying to glue these down to so that they will uh, stay together while I, while I cut everything out. So. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to let it dry, go grab some lunch, and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I've got my pallet slats mounted to these strips of plywood here. <laughs> uh, I have to say I'm really not too optimistic about the uh, success of this project. But I'm going to try to make a little logo sign uh, using this pallet wood. And we're going to see how it goes. Uh, I'll go ahead and run the camera for part of it and probably fast forward through a lot of it because it will take a little bit to cut. But as you can see, I've got a lot of clamps on this. This is all very uneven still. It's going to give it that rustic, rough looking uh, appearance, which is what I'm going for. But uh, as we all know, anybody that uses CNC knows that most things are really flat when you uh, CNC them. So having said that, we're going to give this a shot and see what happens. So stay tuned, folks. Okay, here's the uh, end uh, product of that little sign project I was doing. Uh, as you can see, it didn't turn out nearly as nice as I'd hoped. The, uh, in hindsight, I probably should have went ahead and tried to plane at least the back side to try to get them all the same thickness because this one was sticking out. And so when I was engraving my name, uh, that didn't come out very good. 
but other than that, the uh, saw blade in the center come out good, and of course the outline is the state of Georgia, uh, which is where I live. So all in all, not bad. And besides this. Uh, this week's video isn't really about the project, it's more about supporting the uh, Wounded Warrior Project that uh, Sterling Davis is doing this pallet upcycle challenge for. So, excited about that. Um, I want to thank all the uh, people that participated and uh, made a video for this uh, pallet upcycle challenge. I'd like to thank Sterling Davis uh, for putting this on. It's uh, for a great cause. and. Uh, I just wanted to get a video out there just so uh, you know we can get some more money raised for the Wounded Warrior Project. I've also committed to uh, Sterling uh, that I'm going to match uh, a dollar for every video with a minimum of a hundred dollars and a maximum of two hundred dollars. So even if there's not a hundred videos I'm going to donate a hundred dollars to the Wounded Warrior Project and if there's more than a hundred then it'll be just you know a dollar for every one hundred and whatever. So uh, up to the max of uh, 200. So excited about that. Looking forward to doing that. It's a great cause, and uh, I'm, I'm really uh, happy to participate in that. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you've got any uh, questions or comments, leave them below. I'll put a, a link to Sterling's website uh, down below as well, so you can go there and find the, uh, the playlist for the uh, Pallet Up Cycle Challenge. And uh, I guess that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, thanks for watching.